Hey, we're back in Dark Souls. Look at Kieran. I'm wearing armor. At this rate, I might have every piece equipped by, uh, I don't know, seven, seven bosses from now. So, uh, yeah, l let's get to it. Yeah, last time we kicked on that ladder, and that was of all, all significant things that happened last time. Okay, criminals go that way. You don't want to go that way. I'm gonna go this way. Yep. And then, uh,. You know, just let him let him let him do his thing. You don't want him interrupt. Like, you know, just throw a dagger maybe. And then you then you go this way because this is the way good boys go. And uh, you light you light the bonfire and it's good. it's all good and everything's fine. No, don't worry about that. That dragon is fine. You've defeated him. You, he's 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 gone, man. He did it. You won. You won. Those things are not even important. What is that? Like a claymore? It's not even a real sword. Come on. One, one and a half hand. What does that even mean? Okay, let's um, let's do the good mean. So what you do is you go up these stairs. And remember, good old Duke Starrington or whatever I said before. I click the left stick and hit B. So that's that's how you actually. Do it. When you're not sure, you just hit both. And then you just uh, have a go. Oh man, isn't that disheartening? Seeing enemies heal as well. There we go. We've done it. We've uh, we got the basement key. This is uh, you know, it's key, uh, rather instrumental. Now we'll pull it. That way, it's uh, never closed again. And uh, do these uh, boys want to come and? Uh, uh, have a good time. And jokes on them, I now have the halberd. Strongest weapon in the game. No, that would be the scythe. But, uh, you know, halberd, it's up there. It's a weapon uh, in the game. So it's part of the sentence. So you can, you can take that to the bank. That don't seem to be hurting anyone. Let's just go. Hmm. Do you hear heavy footballs? Oh, it must be him. I don't understand what's a backstab anymore. <laughs> ah, that was it. Okay, let's uh, let's have a drink. We're being too stingy with our Estus. Like, we're, we're pretending that we don't need them when, uh, in actuality, actually, really bad. It's quiet, or else he'll hear you. There we go. That's what we want. Yeah, we do. We do just pitiful amounts of damage. There we go. That's we just gotta rely on the backstabs. It's like, what else can we do? What else do you want from us? And I think I just got something in my eye. It feels horrible. Oh god. My eye. Oh god. Cut! Cut the thing! Okay, everyone, we're back. Nothing happened, I swear. It's fine. Uh, something did get stuck in my eye, though. It felt horrible. Uh, you know, let's not even risk it. Let's just, uh go past these boys and uh, just head this way. This way seems safe. And look, I bet if we turn around they'll be too scared to follow. Any second now. Any second. Any second now. I could have sworn they stopped following you. Okay, I guess not. Uh, I guess we're going down. Don't you hear the ting of a hammer? It sounds like a friendly blacksmith. Isn't that what we were looking for before? Oh boy, I can't wait to meet him. He probably is really friendly. Hey, look, a bonfire. The best place. Light. Please. How oh, dare you come to my safe space? You are not welcome here. There we go. Oh, but uh, we took care of that. Let's go make our sword good. We picked up like one Titanite shard, I think. Let's put it to uh, good use. Well, if it requires anything, ah, Andre. And I will speak to you so much. But first, teach me your gesture. A hurrah! That's a thing to learn. Alright, let's reinforce the weapon. The long sword. Make it a long sword plus one. There we go. It's infinitely stronger now. Such a good guy, Andre of Astora. What do you sell? You sell Titanite shards? That's my favorite. Let's buy two. We're gonna wanna reinforce again? Alright. Raw, oh, Andre, you're so good to us letting us upgrade things. It's so nice. Well, now we got a long circle too. 
can we uh, can we get it any any higher? Can we do any more? Do we have any like little little souls to pop? Is this worth anything? Not really. Actually, it might be just enough. There's an opponent carry the two, and then maybe maybe that's uh maybe that's uh, that's not what we meant. Just a, just a little bit. Yep, but I don't think we have enough for the actual cost. No, we're off don't by four. Ah, uh, boiled. Boiled again. Alright, so we'll just go this way. Because uh, this, this way is the, the good way. Hi, friend. He's a friendly guy. He wouldn't hurt us. I don't think he knows how. Ooh, that was a close one. Alright, let's stop messing around and just sprint through this. Like a sane person. I think we sat at the that bonfire, but uh, who knows? So this is the friendly woods. This is the friendly tree man. They're really strong. There we go. That makes things a lot easier. You get some filthy moss from them. How nice. The dark root garden. What a, what a fun place. None of that. Goodbye. That guy was a lot easier. The cliff helped us. See, the cliff is on our side. Some people think that uh, gravity is your greatest enemy in this game. I think it can be a, a valued friend. If you know how to uh, coerce it. There. Ooh. Close. See, these guys don't carry Estus Blast with them, because, um, where would they carry them? Can't fool me, Bush. I'm a master Bushman. I can tell a Bush from a mile away. That, my friends, is definitely a Bush. It's a little glowy thing. So hopefully there's not that many, uh, Bushmen, uh, ahead anymore, because, uh, they're really strong. We really gotta chop away at them for a while with the sword. Ah, uh, man. If only there was like a bonfire behind this wall and it just disappeared to let us have it. Dude, our wish came true! What, what fantastic. Okay, so we got this nice uh, bonfire. Let's have a sip. You know what we haven't done? We haven't reversed our hollowing. Ever. So, uh, let's become nice and pretty. I take back the pretty bit. We are very red. I forgot that, uh, so the way I made this character is I hit random like 17 times. It looks like, like a red Michael Jackson. So let's, uh, let's keep going. And, uh, head this way. Now, I could go through there, pick that up, and get ambushed, but that doesn't sound appealing. So I'm not gonna do that. Instead, I'm gonna go here. Hug this, uh, little left wall. Well, maybe not like exactly because I don't want to go that way yet. Take a nice uh, romp through the woods. A little stroll, a little, a little stroll through the through the garden. Be very careful. Watch out for the two-headed snake things that are right here. They're pretty friendly. They won't attack. And uh, carefully make my way through these uh, little things. Now I have to fight the stone man. I didn't mean to do that. I didn't mean to do that either. Blue Tear Stone Ring, protect me! Ah, uh, why not? Let's take another one. Alright, let's go. This time I won't be foiled by my idiocy. That's it. See, you just gotta stop talking and really concentrate. Ah, he thinks he has me now by slowing down my movements. But what he's failed to realize is he's trapped himself. Alright, and uh, I don't feel like fighting the boss, so let's just have a summon do it for us. Ooh, the oh, the witch Beatrice! Now, she probably has a story that I have no idea about. I usually, I'm usually pretty good with the lore on the stories, but I really don't know much about the Phantom Witch Beatrice. So if you know something about the Phantom Witch Beatrice, um, uh, let me know in the form of an MS Paint drawing sent to my email. Do that. And uh, I, I'd appreciate it. I'd, I'd, I'll give you, a, I'll give you a reply, and uh, I'll, I'll sing a, a song of your choice. All right, so let's go through this white lake and uh, avoid getting killed by the big butterfly. 
the moonlight butterfly. Where is the little bitch? There it is. Now, um, yeah, we can just, um, let old, uh, WB here fight the boss for us. And what's cool about the boss is if you stand here, the boss gets frustrated and switches sides again. Yep, see? There he goes. The thing about this boss is, uh... It just doesn't want to hurt you. Now, not many people know this, but the... The Moonlight Butterfly... It can rege it regenerates when it eats a little moss. Excuse me, the Time for me to shine. It also does a big explosion there. You don't want to be near that. Okay, let's get the throwing knives out and uh, show them who's boss. True, look at that. 16 damage. You're really putting down the DPS on this. Tank that one. Who needs to roll? Oh, okay, thanks. Thanks, uh, good old Witch Beatrice. Well, we've done it. We've got 10,000 souls for our massive amount of effort there. And uh, what's up these stairs? What what was that a moonlight butterfly guarding? How did it get here in the first place? Who created it? These are all questions that we might find out in uh, the coming journeys that uh, we'll, we'll partake. But uh, yeah, it was it was, uh, it was Seat the Scaleless. He made them. He made the moonlight butterflies. Okay, there we go. So that's one of the questions answered. So uh, there we go. Go pick up three things. We got a basement key. A divine ember and a, uh, a third thing, homeward bone. Uh, let's let's use the one. We only have two, so we might as well. Boom! So, um, there we go. We could have duped it. Why? Not? Well, we could have. We should have rather. Oh, now we're back to the bonfire. Let's have a sit. We we'll bubble up a bit. Uh, let's get a nice amount of vitality going. Why not? Look at nice and twenty vitality, twenty endurance. That's good to do. And. Uh, yeah, now we're gonna we're gonna head back to uh, Andre, good old blacksmith, the hero, the legend himself, and I'll see you next time there, where we might do something. Bye bye.